Expression Web 4 is a program that reminds a little bit like a uh, uh, Dreamweaver. Uh, well, and and it's and it's a free tool, so you can use use it to create your websites. So you can, for example, add a text here. Just testing, and then I change the font. Let's see what font we're going to use. Okay, size. You can also change the color. Now we have Again, fill in a picture my website Joomla. Click OK, and that's what I have. And add anything you like to the page. You can add. You can add a table, insert table, like this. Five four columns. We go to click OK. And then you can fill things in. Then you go to file, preview in browser, and preview it in every browser you like. Click OK. Click OK. Then you'll see what you've just created. So it's very easy to use this program. You can also uh, center the text, place it to the left, place it to the right, you can make a numbering in it, and then the next thing has a 2 in it, or you place a uh, dot, or you just do this. It's easy to change the layout. You can also add a hyperlink. Okay, and that is added. You can insert a PFP or HTML. For example, an inline frame, set initial page. Then you can select a default page, for example. Click on OK. Cannot include the current page. Well, then we go to another page. Let's see.
Then you click OK while this space is on the ramp, but the ramp is now not online. So I have to put the ramp online to display it correctly, I guess. But that's how you can create an in a frame in the website. Then we can go to data view, edit, toolbars, pictures, sites, panels, and add behaviors. Insert. Go to URL, play sound, browse, and play a music. Example, and add this track to it, and then it can just display the music. Then you can just test it by going to preview in browser, use the browser, click OK, OK, and then the music shows. <clears throat> so you can add music in an easy way. Well, I think it's a, it's a program you have to just try for yourself. I think it has a great editor in it, and you can just try this program. You can also try it in combination with uh, with the other program that I showed in the other tutorial. It's um, webmatrix.exe. Just keep. Oh, yeah. 